Today we're embarking on an insane football road trip. This road trip is going to see us travel all around the UK to three different stops, driving a total of 680 miles in one day to pick up some insane match one football shirts. Starting in Norwich and traveling to Brighton, then up north from there before heading back to Norwich, and we're picking up some shirts from some pro footballers themselves too. We even have a very, very special item arriving direct to my house at the end of this day as a reward for when we get back to Norwich, and it will blow your minds. So make sure to stay tuned to the end too. This is going to be a ridiculous expensive day so let's get into this morning long day ahead road trip do you think other youtube channels like look at us and think well they're doing something cool today there's a guy running across africa right now mm. and we're driving to brighton bolton and leeds to buy some piece of fabric i don't think any other youtubers really watch the videos anyway <laughs> or if you are new around here please subscribe and like the video if you do enjoy it i don't ever ask people to subscribe really so please subscribe right road trip road trip Road trip, road trip. trip. I think it's important to fuel up on a journey like this. We've only been going about 20 minutes. We're going to be on the road for literally about 14 hours today. I wonder why, like, you don't get brought, brought when I go to, like, Brazil. You're, you're here for this one. I get to go to Fort, Fort Wentways Services, Burger King. Just spent £6.30 on some fruit and an orange juice and a water and it's still somehow not the worst money I'm going to spend today. So Brighton. Stop one. We go, this is the place. We're meeting at a retail park, which admittedly is a bit odd. Pets at home. Yeah. Oh, Sophology. <laughs> So, first player we're meeting is a player that's played in the top division of Holland for the last few years is George Cox, who is a left back who played for Fortuna Sittard. Also means, sorry, is it, is it, it just quickly, I have to mention, the park in front of us, are you taking the like, It's not them, so they're, they're let off, like, crying out loud. Really hope that's not his car. <laughs> <laughs> it also means he's played against Ajax, and we are collecting two Ajax shirts from him, from two very, very good footballers so we'll talk about that more at the end of the video but let's go and get the shirts and hopefully i hope he turns up good to see you, good to see you. i appreciate this is sound thank you very much no, this is like a weird deal isn't it in a estate this here used to be like we're stood on where the pitch was yeah. and now yeah. it's a sophology and that's a sophology in a little <laughs> <laughs> appreciate this though thank you very much and best of luck with um, next season as well. Thank you very much. What a man, by the way. Me and Alpi have just had a chat with him for about half an hour or so. I think we're going to maybe have some transfer news about him soon. Maybe by the time this video has gone out. So stay tuned for that. Just a great player. Great lad. Great lad. Great, great lad. lad. Good to have her on the dressing room. Picked up four shirts from him. And I think you guys are going to be buzzing to see these. A teaser for, for one of them right there. Ooh. Right, part one of the road trip's done. We need to get up north now. About a five and a half hour drive. Oh. But think about, we can talk about these for five hours. Mm, I might put my headphones in. <laughs> road trip, road yeah. trip. Road trip. Brighton was a success, so we had the five hour drive to head up north, which on paper sounds really boring. But it wasn't. Successful morning. I think let's get back on the road. Let's get up north. Traffic. What? One of our stops today is cancelled. <laughs> That's annoying. Yeah, at least we haven't like driven to Brighton and then back up. We're now in Peterborough. It's, a, it's an understandable reason. Family emergency. Yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's <laughs> is what it is at the moment. We're going to head to Leeds. We're going to change it around. So our, our first stop is going to be Bolton, but we're going to go to Leeds first and try and do something there. We're going to pick the shirt up I need to get in Leeds. That's not from a pro footballer. And then hopefully by then, they've managed to sort something and we can go see them. It's a police, it's got to be someone famous. Oh no, they're doing a driving lesson. Oh, it's so boring. Oh. God's sake. This was an unscheduled stop um, and we're both very shaken up. A car, act, like a lorry and a car have just collided on the dual carriageway in front of us, we were the car. Like if I wasn't paying attention to something, we would have just died. And in retrospect, that might sound dramatic, but it, it wasn't, it was an accident at 70 mile an hour, and we just have nearly died. So you can get a match on football shirt. Yeah, it's not how I want to go. <laughs> I think this is, a, this is a situation where do we keep going or turn around? 
we're already we've driven a lot today. Yeah. We may as well keep going. Avoid your carriageways for the rest of my life. Top stop two is for a match worn shirt, but it's not direct from a player. Let's go get this shirt. It should just be left in someone's porch. So let's let's go and do that. You're weird this, isn't it? Let's go. Shirt two, well not shirt two, shirt five picked up, but stop two done. This one is a very special shirt to me. Let's get back on the road. Come on. Yes, we collected one Leeds shirt and the next stop was up to Bolton, where hopefully things would go much smoother than the journey to Leeds. It didn't, it's the spoiler alert, it didn't go smoother, did it? We are, we've got good news from the footballer. We managed to get access back to the shirts, it looks like. So we're now heading off to the final stop, which is Bolton. Gonna, this is a big collection we're going to now. This is an ex-footballer who played in the Premier League, Football League. Like We are going to see a lot of shirts here and potentially spend a lot of money. So on that note, if you want to buy football shirts from me, you can follow my WhatNot page at the link at the top of the description. I can't stress enough, Like we give away £100 every stream. The shirts are shipped worldwide. You don't have to spend any money to win one of the £50 vouchers. We're going to give away free £50 vouchers going forward as well now. Completely free, no strings attached. You can just join in the stream, come and watch. And if you want to, you can buy some football shirts as well. They ship worldwide. Everyone always asks where I sell my shirts. I sell my shirts there. I'm going to have to sell quite a few to fund these purchases. So come and follow me on WhatNot. Link to the top of the description. And let's get back off to Bolton. An hour to go. I'm still shaken by the crash. Yeah. We've not really... Cr Never recover. Last stop, Alfie. Let's introduce the player. Well, it's uh, none other than David Norris, Ipswich Town legend. Also, key here, played for Leeds. It's such legend, yeah. Right, so I'll be honest, we're currently stuck in limbo. We're still waiting for Norris to... Um, we've been here a while in Bolton, haven't we? Yep. It's lovely. Oh, my phone just buzzed. Please, David. What's he said? It's not him. Who is it? It's a different message. Put it from me. <laughs> Why are you talking like you... It, it was Jodie. What's she saying? <laughs> Has <laughs> she got any updates on Norwich? We did the stay, couldn't get any longer. We've checked into a hotel because the um, player couldn't get the shirts tonight, so we're, we're not gonna just go home. You know, while we see our girlfriends or, you know, family. Um, so we're gonna stay here and tomorrow morning hopefully be able to collect the football shirts and then go home. I mean, we can't, you can't say we haven't tried. We nearly died today. I'm gonna keep talking about that for the rest of my life. I nearly died today. Let's live life to the fullest now. Morning. Let's go and collect this shirt. This is this road trip has been too eventful. No, let's go get the shirt. Come on. Back to bloody Bolden. How's it feel to be back? I don't imagine Jojo Cotches came back much since he left. Oh, interested in signer sponsorship? We spot to that side. Mate, stay tuned for next week's video. I oh, just put my name Ellis on it. Just nothing else but Ellis. Let's just end this road trip. It's gotta be that. We're gonna meet him at this gym. It's gotta be the gym there. You had to put a percentage on it. On if we're gonna get oh, there he is, space yeah. there. Hundred percent. Come on. So we're here with David's shirts. They are some just unbelievable ones as well. Matter, which is the one I'm picking up today. Some other ones here, like so. Essentially, David's got some of these for sale still. The Wilshire one, the actual one is still for sale. He's got an Aguero match from Fowler one. He's also available. If anyone wants a Robbie Fowler shirt, that one's still available to go. And he's got a ton of other shirts also. So hopefully, um, we'll be able to share some of them in the video by the time I get home as well. But this shirt is mine to take. So let's do that. Let's get back to Norwich. <laughs> Overall, mission success there, even if we nearly died. Before we get into this any further, once again, can you please subscribe if you're new around here? We're nearly at 300,000 subscribers and bills to pay now, because this is a, once again a bad financial decision from me. Also, before we get into these in any more detail, remember I have a very special item that has revived in the post as well. Right, let's review these shirts. First up, the Leeds United match worn shirt I got, and it was. Dun dun dun. Dun dun. Crescencio Somerville's shirt from the game against Manchester City in which we lost 2-1. But still, what a player he is. And, you know, to have one of his match one shirts is, is unreal. He only played about 13 minutes or so in the game, but to have his shirt from the game is really cool. You can see it overlaid on screen throughout me chatting as always. It is a great shirt, you know. So, so, so other than, let's get rid of that. Put, put like my name on there instead. Looks lovely. Very nice shirt and a good start to the proceedings. It wasn't from a player, but it was... um. Priced as if it was. <laughs> oh, crumbs. This is the shirt that that started 
um, me wanting to do this video, and I'll explain why now. You're probably wondering, Ellis, why have you purchased a One Matter shirt? Well, it was from when Leeds played Chelsea in the Carabao Cup, or whatever it was called, in like 2013, and Norris played and got Matter's shirt. The reason I decided to purchase it was, though, I saw Norris had tweeted out that he was selling his football shirt collection, and I saw some of the offers he was getting underneath the tweet, and they were just, quite frankly, a scandal. Like, it was outrageous. And to be honest, I was really disappointed in seeing some of the offers people were giving to an ex-pro who tweeted out saying that they needed to sell some of their shirts. So I went in and offered him um, £500 for it. Um, if any Chelsea followers or collectors follow me, I will sell it to you for that price. I just wanted to make sure that Norris got a price that was fair and reflective of it. One matter at that time was a big, big player for Chelsea. Um, and that kit is quite an iconic kit as well. So, yes. I paid probably over the odds for it, but I wanted to make sure Norris was getting something fair for something that was cherished from his career, rather than people going in as replies going like, I'll give you £100 for it, because you know what you're doing there. It's the wrong thing to be doing. Stop being a vulture. Let's move on to George Cox. George did us a massive solid, actually, and gave me not one of his shirts from his time at Fortuna Sittard, but two shirts as well. Huge thanks to George for doing so. Um, what a legend. Here we go, then. I mentioned that George had played against Ajax a few times in his time in Holland. He'd obviously played against PSV and teams like that as well. The first shirt he managed to get from his time there was a David Neres match-worn shirt as well. A fantastic player. Shame he plays for Benfica now, but a fantastic player. Uh, what a shirt it is as well. You can see it in some more detail once again over on the screen. So cool that we have this. Having a shirt a player worn for me as a collector is very cool. To have one of a player that's just very, very good is better. Which moves us on to the last one as well. As you can see, the front of this shirt is very special. It's the Ajax anniversary shirt, a very cool and sought after shirt with a special badge, which everyone raved about. This shirt release at the time was just one that everyone was mad about. Like Everyone loved it. And the main player from that team was, without a doubt, Anthony. And we have his match-worn shirt from the game against Fortuna Sittard there. The anniversary edition with no names on the back or anything, it is his shirt from the game. Just fair play to George for having to defend against him for 90 minutes, you know. Um, what a player. I mean, I've got that shirt in the collection. You've seen over there on the screen, like, unbelievable haul. Like, that is, that is unreal. But finally, let's, um, let's take a look at the item that arrived in the post for me. It is a PSG walkout jacket, which in itself might seem a bit unimpressive to you, maybe. Um, but let me just show you this. Ha! <laughs> It's Messi's walkout jacket from a few games last season. They always switch their walkout and presentation jackets at PSG because they have so many because they're essentially a fashion brand. Um, but this is Messi's one for, a, I think it was three games last season. You can see him overlaid on screen wearing it. This is his one. And we have it here. I said all along when I got this first Messi item that I was going to just quietly do things behind the scenes. Like, I can't make a whole video about a Messi ja a jacket, but I think it's worth the wait till the end for, right? And it's in my collection now along with the shirt. And I also have a pair of his shorts. From the season, that's weird. That one's the weirdest purchase. The shirt and the jacket's fine. The shorts, it gets to the point about what you're really doing with your life, Ellis. But it's just an, un an unbelievable haul. Just add into, once again, the most unfathomable collection I have now. It's like to the point where we're gonna have to review it and show it all in detail again soon. I'm very, very happy with the outcome of this video. I really hope you guys are too as viewers. Um, if you haven't enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Once again, as I said before, this was a very, very expensive day. So make sure to follow me on Whatnot as I'm gonna be selling some of my bigger shirts from my collection over the next month or so. And if you go over there, you get 10 pounds completely free. We're gonna pay 150 pound every stream just for you coming along to watch. All we have to do is sit in the stream for an hour and you have a chance of winning one of three 50 pound vouchers. Completely free to get involved with and enter. Ship worldwide over there. So make sure to join me on whatnot at the top of the description. And I've been Ellis, and I'll see you very soon for more football shirt content and more away days. Ciao, ciao. Bye.